Here we'll calculate the standard deviation by hand using the formula instead of using the built-in function in the calculator, just to illustrate how the formula works. We have five data points and we want to calculate the standard deviation. The first thing we need to do is to calculate the mean. So the mean, remember, is the sum of the data points divided by the number of data points. So we add them up and divide by five and we find that the mean is 10.2. Now, the standard deviation of this data set is the square root of the sum of the squared deviations divided by n minus 1. And all of that's inside the square root. So we'll need to calculate these things individually. We need to find each deviation, the difference between each data point and the mean, square those, add them up, divide that answer by n minus 1, and then take the square root of that answer. So this can get kind of tedious which is why we only do this with small data sets. And from this point on, we'll use the built-in function in the calculator, uh, but here we'll just illustrate the formula once. We'll use this table to organize everything. We have the data values listed, and we'll calculate the deviation for each one by simply subtracting this number, 20 for instance, minus 10.2, and then four minus 10.2, and 15, and so on. And we'll calculate the deviation for each data value. Once we've done that, we square them all. And remember, we, the reason that we square them is because if we try to average these deviations, we would get zero, because the positive ones and the negative ones would cancel each other out. But by squaring them, we end up with all positive numbers, so when we average those, they don't cancel each other. Then here all the square deviations are filled in. Now, we need to add those square deviations, divide by n minus one, or four in this case, and then take the square root of the answer. Adding these all up, we get 210.8. And then if we divide that by four, we get 52.7. But we're still not done. The last step is to take the square root of that. The square root of 52.7 is 7.26. So the standard deviation of this data set is 7.26 or the distance that a typical data point is from the center. Again, this example mostly illustrates why we don't calculate the standard deviation by hand usually. Even for a small data set, it gets pretty tedious.